How many times has this happened to you? You find a great game, one that you've been looking for for a while, but look at that label. It's just terrible. Ugh. Well, I guess you might as well throw it out, right? Don't give up just yet. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fix this little problem. You'll need a few things before we start. First of which is Gugon. It comes in a small container such as this, and it also comes in a secondary form, which is the one I like, which is a nice spray bottle. Either one works just fine. You also might need a glue stick, in case you are not printing on self-adhesive paper. Uh, now, you know, any glue stick will work and it will get the same effect, so it's really a matter of personal preference in this case. Next item is, of course, a pair of trusty scissors. Preferably the sharper the better, the crisper the better. You want those nice, crisp, clean lines. Next up you'll need a copy or a print of your uh, label that you need desired. I prefer using the cover project and then printing them at Office Depot, of course. This next item is not required, but I find it helps out a lot, and it's good old-fashioned sandpaper. I prefer the grittier the better to score the surface and make sure the glue gets in there real deep. Alright, first step is to start removing the label. So we'll go ahead and start peeling up, and wait a minute, if we do this, we're going to be here all day. Nope. Ugh. Let's put that goo gun to good use. We're going to take our goo gun and really bathe that old label in it. Get off all the crap and use it generously. Now, however, also be careful. Don't want to go off the side and damage the label on the exterior. Some people are picky about that. You can see right away the goo gun almost instantly taking to work as it's getting into the crevices of the label and basically doing the work for you. At this point, it's just a waiting game. About 5 to 10 minutes should do it and you'll be good to go. And after a short wait, this is how our cartridge should look. Nice and clean and ready for the next step. Now the next step is not required, but I find it helps out a great deal and that's slightly scoring the surface of where the label was with sandpaper. You want to go very firmly, but very gently as well, and be careful not to go outside of the barrier. We just want to score the label area itself to make the glue stick. A properly scored cartridge should look something like this. Like I said, just the area where the label is going to be applied. That's all we need. Putting the cartridge aside now, we now want to turn our attention to our freshly printed label. This is where those good old fashioned trusty scissors are going to come in handy. Going to want to go ahead and start cutting. We're going to want to be very careful, seeing as how we don't want to cut too much. After being cut out, our label should look, well, something like a small label. Just for comparison, you can see that it will fit just perfectly into where we need it to fit in on the cartridge. Now it's time to put that glue stick to use. Basically what we're going to want to do, what I prefer to do, is put the label on the exterior right here, move around the entirety of our newly printed label, go on the outside, doing the border first, and then slowly working our way inside, making sure every area, or as much as we can, is covered properly and fully. It's a bit tedious, but it does get the job done, and it does ensure that the label stays on a great bit longer than if we just slapdashed it. Now that we've got our label all nice and sticky, we move on to the cartridge. Very carefully line it up towards the bottom, sync it up, and there we go. Lightly press down, making sure we get it as close as we can, and apply light pressure, and, and this will be how our newly crafted label will look. Now you can't tell me that doesn't look good. Now here's with the label nice and dried, and as you can tell, it came out very nice. I've also done this for a number of my other games, Banjo Tui, which is very bad, and Hey You Pikachu, which was an unknown to me. Now, the great thing about the cover project is you can also do it for other cartridges. Like I've done this custom X-Men one, which I think looks better than the original artwork, and of course the Battletoads one. I hope this video was helpful for you, and by all means, remember, have plenty of Geeker Days.